Hello everyone. Many of you have been asking about where to find logo design ideas and if sketching is a must. Well, I've got you covered with this video. We're diving into designing a winged dog logo without any sketching at first. Just combining reference images and tracing in Illustrator. Stick around, and I'll show you how we grid it using circles. Let's get into it. I usually start by searching for good reference images, so I go to Google and search for German Shepherd photos, I will select a photo that features a dog with a good posture, then, I search for a winged picture that is close to what I am aiming to make. Now these are the two pictures that I have picked, I will try to combine them using Photoshop, nothing fancy, I'll just overlap them together. Then I'll change the color mode of the wing to darken, I place it in the right position, then I make a selection like that, and go to edit, and click on copy merged, moving to Adobe Illustrator, go to edit, and click on paste, shrink it a little bit, then cover it with a rectangle, and change its fill color to black. Then decrease the opacity a little bit, and then select everything, and go to object, lock, then click on selection, now we will use this combination of images as a reference, to capture what makes the dog a dog and what makes the wing a wing, instead of sketching directly on paper. It helps you come up with the concept idea, and we will trace on it, making it as geometric as possible, and creating perfect curved lines so we can grid it easily with circles using the arc tool, if you can't find it here in the toolbar, go down to this three points menu, and you will find it here. Just hold click and drag it to the toolbar. Remove the fill color. And select a bright color for the stroke. Double click on the arc tool, and set the slope to 50, Click here and drag to the back bottom of the dog. Then click here, and drag again to this point. Moving to the neck. Click here and drag. Then press F to flip the curve, and with the up arrow, you can adjust the slope. Click here and drag to this point. Then press F to flip the curve, adjust the slope with the arrow, and then release. Do the same for the ear and the forehead. With the direct selection tool, I can adjust the form of the curves. And for the straight lines I will use the pen tool. When tracing any feature, you should simplify it as much as you can, just keep the essence of the thing you are tracing. Make the leg and close the shape, then close the back part. For the wing, I will use the brush tool to trace it, always keep geometry in mind, as you can see, I follow the outline of the wing, and I make it as minimal as I can, all with curved lines, and remember, we are still sketching, nothing has to be perfect. There is no tail in the photo, so I will make a simple one. And to add more personality to the design, I will add a raised leg, and here I add a back leg, it's a matter of experimenting. I test it, and if I don't like it, I remove it later, now. I make all the strokes the same size, you can always adjust with the direct selection tool. Okay, you can lock this stroke and move directly to the gridding, but I always like to improve the sketch freely on paper, it's easier and will also improve your drawing skill, now you have your concept ready. You can either redo it on paper, from your head, or just print it out, then use tracing paper to replicate it and enhance it. After refining my sketch on paper, I take a photo, send it to my computer, then I copy it, and went on Adobe Illustrator. I go to edit, then I paste it, then I go to object, lock, then I click on selection. I'll start gridding by making this bottom line, and as always, I'll select the magenta color for the stroke and increase the size to 3 points. With the ellipse tool, make a circle and align it with the front part of the dog. Then hold alt and drag the circle here. 
then resize it to fit the sketch. You can use the arrows to align it precisely to the sketch. Same thing for this part. Now I make a new circle. Then I fit it with the back of the neck. Zoom in and press Ctrl Y to activate the outline mode. This mode will elevate the precision of aligning the two circles. Then I do the same for the rest of the curves. With the pen tool, make a straight line for this leg. Then with the rectangle tool, make a horizontal rectangle from side to side in the leg. Then place it here to get the same size as the other leg. Now do the same thing to grid the tail and the other leg with circles. Now, moving to the shape construction phase, I prefer to do it part by part so I don't get confused with all these intersected lines. First, I select these two circles. Then from the pathfinder, click on minus front. Then select the new shape along with this line. Then with the shape builder tool, click on this part. Then remove the unnecessary shape. Same thing for the tail, select the two circles, and from the pathfinder, click on minus front. Then hold shift and select the body shape, and with the shape builder, click on the tail, and then remove the left part. I think the leg is too thin compared to the other one. So I drag this line a little bit to the right. Now, I select the leg and the body together, and with the shape builder, I drag on them to merge them together. For these straight lines of the head, I will use the pen tool to trace them. Now I select everything. Then with the shape builder, I drag all the head parts along with the body shape to merge them together, then, I remove all the left parts from the circles. To make the raised hand. Make a horizontal rectangle here. Then I hold all and drag it down here, then shrink to the left like this, then select them together, and unite them with the pathfinder. Now to trim the leg and the tail, select the body shape, go to object. Path, then click on offset path. Keep the offset value to 15 pixels and press OK, Ctrl X to cut it, then select the tail and press Ctrl F to paste it in front, then select the tail with the offset, and from the pathfinder, click on minus front. Now I repeat the same process to trim the front leg. Now we finished gritting and tracing the dog, we will move to the wing. To start, make a circle, then align it with the sketch. Hold Alt and drag it here. Then make it a little bigger, and place it here. Hold Alt and drag it up. Then place it here. Control Y to activate the outline view, make sure everything is aligned. Select the two circles, and from the pathfinder, click on minus front. Do the same for this part, and change the color to get a clear vision between all these circles, repeat the same process to complete gritting the wing. Now this is the final circle to close the wing shape, to get extra precision in aligning circles. Go to view menu and make sure that snap to point is checked. Zoom in, Control Y to activate the outline view. Then stretch the circle to touch the other one. Finally, select everything, and with the shape builder, drag on all the wing parts to merge them together. Select the wing, remove the stroke color, 
and give the fill the black color. Remove the left part and place the wing on top of the dog. Thank you for joining me in this design journey. I appreciate your time and interest. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like and share. Your support means a lot. Stay creative.